This is the new version of Sunvox version 1.1 and uh, I'm going to have a look today at a little bit around the screen. So if you can see at the top there, there's the, um, the area for tracking. Here we've got a little um, keyboard. Here we've got the um, the different modules and how they're mapped together. And across here we've got all the parameters for the current module, an FM synth. And as you can see, it's uh, it's quite a bunch of parameters, and there's a lot that you can do with that FM synth. And if you could just hear that, there's a really quite an excellent uh, sound coming off that. What I'm going to do now is just. Uh, cut the link there between the synth and the output and place a link into a reverb module and hopefully you can hear a bit of the difference there adjust some of those parameters So quite uh, a variety of things you can do with uh, the current version of Sunvox. Um, what I'm going to do now is I've got a little sequence here that I made. Not particularly pretty, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it as a WAV file. Okay, and here's the export. And uh, I've actually already done this, but I'll overwrite it. I'll tell it what format to do it in. And here it goes. And that's that. So we're going to go from there. Exit out of some box. And into Bargy's Loops. And pick up this uh, sample in Bargy's Loops. So we'll open a sample. Some box or not. Oh, here it is. And there's your sample. Now obviously what you could do with this is you could take a sample of a single note from a FM synth created in Sunvox and use it somewhere else. But um, obviously there are limitations with taking a sample like that. But it does mean that you can use the two together quite handily and, uh, and makes passing data in between them. Although a little bit clumsy because you've got to save things to the SD card, it does make it possible. Anyway, hope you found that useful.